All right, this is the G859AP uh, video showing how to uh, properly assemble and disassemble the, the instrument. First thing we're going to do is unsnap these clips on the Pelican case. There's three in the front and two on both sides. And then we lift the lid. Next step we're going to do is we're going to un unsnap the black, uh, black buckles and straps and get them out of the way. Then we're going to lift the console and the backpack as one unit up out of the Pelican case. Next, we're going to remove the tote bag that has the extra battery, accessories, and staff section pieces. And unzip the tote bag. And remove the two staff sections, two aluminum staff sections. Place the tote bag back inside the case. And snap the case back down. And remove the case. Now that we have the backpack out of the case, we're going to start assembling all the staff sections. The first one that we're going to assemble is the GPS uh, staff section. First thing to do is to unscrew this black bolt uh, lock and then fit, this, fit the GPS staff section down. There's a groove to, um, uh, to slide it down on and then, uh, then tighten up the bolt again. And we're going to do the same thing with the magnetometer sensor and tighten it back down. Okay. Now in this top case, we're going to undo the Velcro. In this case is the sensor and the GPS system. We're going to take the sensor out and fit it through the magnetometer uh, sensor holder. If it's too tight, all you need to do is unscrew the top bolt. It'll loosen up the holder, and you can fit it through uh, much nicer. Any extra cables, there should be a, a black uh, Velcro strap that'll keep it in one place. And a GPS system is Velcroed in this bag, so you need to break the Velcro. and attach it to the top of the sensor, just like the other staff sections. Right. Revelcro this back, back back up. And since this cable is so long, you're going to want to Wind it around this uh, aluminum staff section a couple of times just to, uh, just to shorten it a little bit. And then attach it to this, um, this power junction box uh, to where it says a GPS. Yeah. On the GPS cable, there are four small narrow keys and there is one wide key. The wide key is going to mate uh, with the port with the wide key facing up towards the legend saying GPS. Okay. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna <clears throat> take out the, the cable for the battery. It's in this bottom pouch. And again, Hook it up to the white power junction box. The power cable also has four small narrow keys and one wide key. Again, the wide key faces up towards the legend on the back of the ju white junction box. And next, uh, turn on the GPS. 
you take this lever, you lift it, then you flip it to the on switch, and now the green light should appear, showing that it's on. And now we're ready to put on the backpack. So you're going to want to lift it up. This is typically a two-person job. One person lifts it, while the other person puts their arms through the shoulder straps. adjust the, the straps so that they fit around the, the person. And first, first you're going to clip, uh, clip the green bu buckles together and tighten it. Right. And then you're going to clip the black buckles and loosen it a little bit because uh, this is where you're going to put the console. You're going to thread the black strip through the slots on the, on the console. There are black clips to the backpack, which you're going to have to unloosen. Then clip to the tab. The black tab. Okay. All right. There's a chest strap, which will attach a little green buckle. Okay. And now we're ready to adjust it for an individual person. All right, now we're going to show you how to adjust the frame for different sized people. To adjust the frame, open this pouch, take out the black frame adjuster, you slot it behind the pouch to break the Velcro seal, you push it all the way down, and now you can telescope this back uh, back support up and down until it's the right size. So take out the black frame adjuster, reseal the Velcro, slot it back into its original pouch, and then close the pouch and reseal the Velcro. All right, now if you need to adjust the sensor uh, position, uh, loosen the back bolt lock, and then you can rotate it from vertical to 45 or to horizontal based on where you're surveying. And then you can also rotate it um, around the, the sensor staff by completely removing the bolt. Rotating it around so that it lines up with a hole. It's not lined up. And then tightening the, back down the bolt. All we need to do now is attach the power cable, which is on your right side, and it goes into the uh, the closest um, port on the top, again mating up the, the notches and then twisting the, um, the locking ring so that it uh, connects. And then all you have to do left is press on the power and you're ready to survey. Now that you're done surveying, uh, you want to make sure that you power everything down before you uh, start taking stuff apart. And then we're going to uh, disconnect the power cable. Going to remove the chest strap by unbuckling it and take off the black clips from the tabs on the console. Going 
I'm going to take the, uh, the black strap and take the console off it. Set the console aside, then unbuckle the black and then the green straps. Turn this around. All right, to disconnect the cables, first we want to make sure that the GPS is turned off by pulling down on the switch, and moving it over to off. And then we want to disconnect the power, ca power cable, as well as the GPS cable, by just unscrewing and disconnecting. All right, stowing the uh, battery cable, we want to break the, uh, open the pouch by breaking the Velcro. and coiling up the uh, battery cable, making sure that there's not a kink in it, and resealing the Velcro. All right. Unwrap it from the aluminum rod. Okay. And take off the G uh, GPS staff section by uns unscrewing this uh, bolt, the black bolt lock and screwing it back down. Unscrew the black bolt lock and slide it off the staff section. To store the GPS, we want to open up the top pouch and then place the GPS inside with the Velcro facing the right hand side of the, of the backpack. And now to store the sensor, we want to un unscrew both uh, black locks and pull it out of the magnetometer clamp. Now we want to place it inside the top pouch, top down, and then stow the extra cable. And then close the pouch. Now that, it, now that the instrument is disassembled, we want to put the instrument back inside the case by opening up the case and bringing out the tote bag again. We want to open the tote bag, unzipping it, and placing the staff sections back inside again. Close the, uh, close the tote bag back up again. Now to pack uh, the instrument back up, I'm going to take the green tote, place it into the back side of the Pelican case, and then take the backpack with the pouches down, place it towards the front. I'm going to take this, this black foam and place the console on it so that the display doesn't get scratched. And I'll take the black straps and cross them over the console, snap them into place so that the console stays fairly secure uh, during transit. Make sure all the straps are, are in and close the case. Now we're ready to snap all the sections back down.
Pricing and contact information can be found on our website at www.geometrics.com or simply call us at 408-954-0522.